Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Reviews Nope. And first off, sorry about the video quality, but this is a free video and if you want to complain about it, then give me the money so I can get a better camera. But anyways, as far as this video goes, I'm going to show you how to change your voice settings as far as text to speech. That way you can change what your phone sounds like when it talks to you. I've received this question on a Simon Mark review, and I figured why not, because most likely if one person has a question on it, multiple people do. Now the first thing you want to do is go down to your settings, and you got to find it on your phone, it could be different, but um, what you're looking for is language and input. And once you go there, scroll all the way down to text speech output. And what you're looking for is see what engine you have. Now, if, let's say, you're on the Google Text-to-Speech, the best thing to do before you jump in and use a third-party application, go to the actual settings and have, look around on it. And um, that's, that's one thing you need to do. But unfortunately, at this time, um, this is on Android 4.2, at this time, there is no real settings. And the only thing you really can choose from is third-party applications. The best thing that you can do is go to the Play Store and search for text-to-speech. And the best one, I, I don't know if these down here work, but the best one I've ever used and the best one that's been around since the MyTouch 3G and then maybe 4G, a, uh, it's hard about the video quality if you can't see it. It's the SVOX um, SVOX Classic. And uh, w w the thing with this is the actual application itself should be free, but the voices aren't. And the voices you have to pay for, you can search through them on the actual More by SVOX and go through there and just select what language you want and they are about three dollars each and the thing to remember with this is if you're going to use an Android system for a long time, a long purpose you can, it, it, three dollars is not that bad because if you're going to use the Android system for a long time you probably want to have a a voice that sounds well and I'm going to give you a demonstration on the British and the American version uh, and so I pur purchased this. Now, the thing is, is you can actually listen to samples both on YouTube and I believe there are samples on the actual application itself. So let's head on over to the settings. So you got downloaded. Now you need to select the S box and go to there and you can actually select whatever and listen to the sample. Let it load up. But let's go to this. Listen to the UK. This is an example of speech synthesis in English with Xbox Classic. So you can mess around with settings and whatnot, but uh, like I said, let's listen to the American version. Hello. I am the new U.S. English voice of Android. Listen to e-books, navigation, translation, and other apps in my natural voice. Now, the person who who uh, requested information about this uh, wanted a male voice, so let's give them a male voice and show them what it sounds like. And rem remember this, all voices sound differently, so it's best for you to just go through each one and figure out which one you want. And sorry about the low time. Try to do that again. Hi, I am the new U.S. English voice of Android. Listen to ebooks, navigation, translation, and up. So you can go through those and listen to them. Now, here's the thing with this actual application: you can change the settings as far as the volume, the pitch, and some other stuff. And the reason why this is important is, let's say, I go and I um, select 
this person, you heard what they sound like. Let's change their pitch. This is an example of speech synthesis in English with Xbox Classic. Or we can lower the pitch. This is an example of speech synthesis in English with Xbox Classic. So you can actually change the voice in itself to whatever you want. And that way it sounds unique to you and it sounds whatever that, that um, you know, you, you want on your phone. So the the one thing I had to mention, it's not legal as far as this trip that I'm about to mention. But if you know someone that already has this on their phone personally, you can get them to sign in on their Android or on their Android account onto your phone download the stuff to your phone, install it, have it running, then they can, you know, get rid of their account, and that way you have it for free, but if you don't have that option, $3 is not that bad, but I highly advise that you look around and listen, and, and look on YouTube, but anyways, it's been Craig Bennett from Tech Reviews and Up, and I hope you have a great day.